Hello. Oh, gosh. Today, today, today mm -hmm. on the Commentary Zone, we are discussing Erica Jane from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, which is coming back soon. Yes, and I can't wait for it because this is, this is one of my favorite franchises. Not so mm -hmm. much the last couple of years, but overall, I've always liked it. Mm -hmm. So, okay, guys, as you enter the rooms, please, please, please give us a thumbs up. This is going to be a little quickie, one of our ripped from the headlines. And I'm just sharing the article from Hollywood Life by Bonnie Fuller. Um, and the title of the article is Erica Jane's emotional divorce will be heavily covered in new season of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Now, I think I, I told you that I thought she was going to clam up about it because she's clammed up about her personal life for years. Right. So you really think this is true? I think she's at the point where she has no choice because she can't have another lackluster secretive season. Otherwise, she won't make it. Oh, so she needs the coin. <laughs> okay. I mean based on what we can see in the public, like with her divorce, then going from divorce to, you know, lawsuits, from lawsuits to, or her husband's lawsuits, um, to bank, potential bankruptcy court. I mean, that's a lot to go through. So you need to make sure you keep the money coming in somehow. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so this part, this article says the new season of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, which will premiere sometime later this year, will be all about Erica Jane. A source close to the cast tells Hollywood Life exclusively. Not only will her unexpected div divorce from Tom Girardi be heavily covered throughout the season, but she and co-star Sutton Strake will be butting heads in a major way. Like, what? I love Sutton. I wonder like, how they're going to be butting heads, though. The one way I can think is that Sutton does always give her opinion. So I ha I'm wondering if Sutton um, gives her opinions on how Erica um, is handling this, or is she questioning Erica about like how much did you really know? Mm. And she's cause Sutton's like very bold and she's very outspoken and she's she says what's on her mind and she's is she's thinking it. She's gonna she's gonna ask you. See, I was thinking of it a different way. Like okay, I was see. thinking like Eric is pissed that she's coming out of in a divorce where she's probably not even gonna get two nickels to rub together, and Sutton got everything coming out of her divorce. I mean jealousy. I I, I just I'm just petty. Yeah, Sutton got, from what I understand, Sutton got a nice settlement. I mean, but I don't think her husband was out there doing the stuff that, like, Tom was doing, though. No, no, but still, you know, Erica put in, what, 20 years? Mm -hmm. In the penal colony called uh, Camp Girardi. Uh, and to come out after 20 years with nothing kind of sucks. It does, but that just shows that you weren't very smart. Like, instead of paying your Glam Scott $40,000 a month to travel with you, what you should have been doing is go get the discount version from the Mac counter and pay them twenty grand a month and then save the other twenty grand per month, you know, in a, in a secret bank account. That's what you should have been doing. Oh, God. Can you imagine her coming out with nothing from this? Nothing. I can see it. Wow. I mean, because the way like this lawsuits are going against Tom, there may not be anything left. If there's anything left now, unless they have some offshore bank accounts no one's found yet. Hmm. Let them bring in those forensic accountants. They'll find them. Yeah, they'll find they'll find it easily. So the article the article goes on to say this season on Real Housewives of Beverly Hill, Hills will be heavy, will heavily revolve around Erica. Her divorce will be heavily covered and it'll be the main drama of the entire season. She's not holding anything back. Whatever she can legally say, she's saying it, our sources say. You'll see Erica crying and getting very emotional, definitely. 
everyone but Sutton has been supporting her, but Sutton ha has been causing drama for everyone. So it's not surprising she's doing the same to Erica. It's going to be all season that this goes on. The season is all about Erica. Ew. No one else has anything to see? contribute. That's the thing. This is that's when I read that. I was like, see, this is what we don't want. We don't want one storyline for the whole season. We want everyone to have something. But these two have been getting on really well because I follow yes. both of them on IG and they're mm -hmm. always liking each other's um, uh, posts, which I think is very nice. I had no idea that Sutton was going after everybody. She oh. coming, she coming for everybody. She's I, she's all look, I need a diamond. I'm coming for everybody now. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't think she's made because I don't think she's been I don't think she's been made a full time um housewife. I I was one of those that wanted Sutton to be full time. I mean so not. she was after her first couple episodes she warmed up and she was good. So I liked her. But I don't think she's gotten a diamond this year. She won me over with her kitchen comments. I ain't gonna lie. If you know about a kitchen, I'm with you. Mm. <laughs> right. <laughs> She's too um, funny. Oh, wait. The only person Sutton appears to be getting along with during filming, as evidenced by her social media posts, is Garcelle Bouvet. Oh, my God. Yep. <laughs> she didn't fell out with everybody. See? I knew I love Sutton. <laughs> I mean, I just want to know, I'm interested to know uh, how she fell out with everybody. Because for you to fall out with everybody but one, like, what are you doing? And it's interesting that she's doing it for the camera time. It's all yes! for the camera time. It's all for the camera I time. I just like, saw okay. that in the article. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's coming She's coming for wigs and diamonds this season. She's like, I'm not going to take this part-time stuff. Now I'm filming, a, like, a full-time. And you're going to bring in some new chick. I want, they're still filming right now, right? I want to say yes. She got hurt. She's on a scooter. She had a boot on her, on one of her legs, on one of her feet. Um, mm. So she even got hurt during filming. Well, not saying that she got hurt while filming, but while they were in production. Um, so if she's got everybody mad at her, with the exception of Garcelle, while in a boot on a scooter, I think she deserves a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> I just like her. She's a good. She's a good addition, and I'm just interested to see if Erica will really open up and detail and give us like a timeline. That's what I'm really looking for is the timeline of events. You know, um, when did you decide to divorce? Like, no. When did when did your issues start happening? When did you decide to, um, to divorce? When did you file? When you know. How much did you know about his business? Did you know anything about his business? I want specific points because we as the viewers, these are the questions only she can answer. See, so, although this article says that she's really going to open up and she's really going to mm. boohoo and all of that, after seeing the Ice pr Princess for so many years um, and her being a clam all of these years, I find it hard to believe that she's really going to open herself to anyone this season. Oh, and no, then I'm... I think she's also going to be tied up with litigation. Like litigation, she could possibly be involved in all of this mess with her, her soon-to-be ex-husband. Mm -hmm. I agree. I just want to know how much we're going to get because you can like in the article you know you can say what you want to say now is this is she going to be really open you know, compared to what she's done in the past or just or as a normal person would like in in, in the back of my mind I'm, I'm wondering does she really trust any of these girls enough to give them the real real mm -mm. and i don't want to think I, I i don't think that she's how should i phrase this She's already made a tactical mistake because remember when she released information on that judge that that she alleged was having an affair with her husband. Oh, the docs, the docs, the text messages with yes. the, uh, with the, on the three G phone. Got it. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. 
Like that was a really big boo boo that I did not anticipate someone like her would make. Like you had to have learned something being married to a, a high powered attorney all of these years. Um, wouldn't you be like after getting like burnt by that? Wouldn't you be uber careful? She, she was just under like the whole judge thing was a, she was having a petty moment. Um, she was having a scorn petty moment and she made a mistake. And I think that she's gotten past that moment. Cause I think anyone going through a divorce is going to have that one petty moment where you make that mistake. And then you, you're like, oops, my bad, move on. And you don't do it again. So I think what she's going to do, or I'm hoping, I'm hoping she's just going to give us everything she can without going to the specifics. Like I'm hoping she just dances around something because she's smart enough to do that hmm. like when they say like oh well did you know like what he was doing like can you tell us and she can just like you know what honestly i ha- i had not a clue like he would now he would come and tell me that he was closing these big cases i was so proud of him but I, I, you know i don't i'm not a lawyer so i don't know the ins and outs so when he i was just happy that we was we was coined basically sorry that's the way I can put it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, because think about it. Like if I'm your, if I'm your husband, and I come I'm like, hey, Deb, you know what? I just closed this really really big case, and I'm sure she knows how he's paid. Mm-hmm. So if I come and tell you I closed this big case, you can kind of guesstimate how much money I'm bringing in, and you know that it's, it's millions upon millions. So you're not really going to trip off that about mm-hmm. the rest. All you concerned is about my paycheck which I could see Erica being. Now, hmm. what would be, what would, what would really like, uh, you know, upset the apple cart if co- someone comes out and says like, oh, we told Erica what he was doing. <gasps> that would, that would be, that would be the killer. And we, no one's come forward with that information yet. No one's come forward and said like, hey, like she knew because I told her. Or she knew because, you know, we emailed her to let her know, give her a heads up. Mm-hmm. So for my thing, what I always thought was, after we've seen this unfold, like, did someone tip her off? And this is why she's filed for divorce. So I'm not going to say, in my, my guesstimation, in my opinion, what probably happened is, she didn't know anything, right? She didn't know anything about what he was doing, this, this, and that, until someone tipped her off. And she's like, what the hell? Oh, I mean, what the H-E-L-L? So I got to get up out of this. You can, you can get me up in here. I'm too pretty to go to jail. And <laughs> that's where that's where the divorce came from. Because the, the divorce needs to come out of nowhere. Because you see them on their show. They're so loving. He's so supportive. She supports him. It's like, you, you think they have a great marriage. And then all of a sudden they hear, boom, divorce. I was like, what? Yeah, because the really? article says, Erica shocked her fans when she filed for divorce from her husband of 21 years in November 2020, alleging infidelity amid lawsuits that claim the couple embezzled money. She has since moved to her own $1.5 million home in West Hollywood, and he was recently diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Mm. So I think the uh, key was I think the key was the lawsuits and they embezzled versus he embezzled. I think that's really when she got up out. Oof, oof. And and for her to know about those lawsuits, I wonder. I wonder was she, was she served these lawsuits, or was he served and she had to be mentioned, or did someone give her the heads up? I want to know what that timeline's about. Wow. And I think, yeah. I, and I think I'm hopeful because she. I think this is her last season. If she don't open up, she's getting the boot. Well, quite honestly, after last season, she should have gotten the boot. But whatever, whatever. But yeah, I mean, I'm. It's piqued my interest. Yes, Do I have definitely. as much confidence as you that she's going to open up? No. Okay. I mean, that's fair enough. <laughs> For what she's given us, I understand. And then it's like, 
the whole like all of those like legal suits against her husband and now the article like says both of them for embezzling mm -hmm. um you taking a risk sis Oof. yeah i don't know you better have your words you have your you better you choose your words wisely and she already screwed up with that judge thing mm -mm. i'd be scared well she's I'd be scared I think she's smart enough to to um make this work. So I'm hopeful. I'll put it that way. I wonder how much she's paying in rent for that West Hollywood home. Hmm. And is Sutton the only one that lives in Beverly Hills now? I think so. <sighs> Unbelievable. As long as something minimizes Lisa Rinna's role on this franchise, I will be happy. I can agree because she's way too she does way too much and yeah, it's annoying. And I want to see how she behaves with this situation because you know she her strategy is always to hit somebody when they, when they're down. Mm -hmm. If ever anybody was down, it's Erica. I want to see how she behaves then. Because, you know, she's always got to have a target. Agree. This is a good article. This is the article. I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to the season. So. Okay, guys. Well, we've put the link to the article in the description below. But this is um, Hollywood Life by Bonnie Fuller. And the article's name is Erica Jane's Emotional Divorce Will Be Heavily Covered on the New Season of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, which is currently filming and should be on our screens. Well, according to Blavi, next month. But I don't think it's next month. Yeah, I give it a couple months, but I'm I, I can wait on this one because I want to see how it plays out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. And we'll so definitely keep. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I was gonna say we'll definitely be keeping up with this um, Erica story because it is interesting. Mm -hmm. And there seems to be all this new development, so we we will be watching this. We'll be watching this very closely. Yes, because day by day, more new stuff comes out about the Girardis and their contentious divorce. So guys, leave us, you know, a comment below. Let us know what you think about this situation. Do you feel bad for them? Do you think they deserve it? Let us know your thoughts. Uh, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And most importantly, tell a friend, join us in the conversation. Until next time. Bye. Bye.